So the EFL under 21 player pick team of the season is out. It's between three players. We're going to break them all down and decide which one to go for. Here's the squad that I have used to complete it once it loads up. And basically we're going to go into concepts now and have a look at all of them. So let's go have a look which ones they've got. So SBC is complete. Try to look in concept. They're not in concept apparently. So we're just going to open it up and compare one by one. As there is a problem with it. Are you joking me? Yeah, surely not. Surely not. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to alt night, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So it's working now, it was bugged out earlier. So we're gonna go through each and every one of them and decide which one is the best. So of course they are all different positions. They are also all in three different leagues. But let's just ignore that for a second and go through the cards one by one. So he has five star skill, four star weak foot, five foot 10 high medium work risk. So this is gonna be a really, really good cam. He can play right mid as well if you need him to and center mid for the chemistry. So in terms of a box to box midfielder, he's gonna tick a lot of boxes. You can see here with the 84 composure, the 91 agility and balance, being at five foot 10 means his left stick dribbling and his skill move animation is gonna be absolutely lightning. With 95 stamina and 88 finishing his 90 shot power, he is gonna be really, really clinical in front of goal. Unfortunately, he only has flair and nothing else really that helps us in terms of traits. Imagine this card with either a marksman, a hawk, or even a hunter as a chem style on. He's going to be ridiculous. You could even make him into a boxer box in terms of defensiveness if we just went for a shadow as well. And having someone that's got five star skill with four star weak foot to get out of situations, he is going to feel like a cheat code, especially for the price of the SBC. Moving on to our next one is going to be uh, Mumba with five star weak foot and three star skill. High medium work rate. So if you're playing this new four, what's it, three, four, one, two formation, or it turns into a five, four, one. He is going to be really, really good at that left wing back position. But not only that, he can play right back. He is right footed with a five star weak foot. So left foot, right foot won't make a difference. Almost if you want a really, really cheap Zambrotta. With that 95 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, really good agility and balance as well. Also to address it, he has fantastic jumping because he is five foot six. He's going to feel small on the ball. So he needs to have high jumping. He does tick that with the 95 stamina as well. In terms of traits, no traits, unfortunately. But it is, again, a really good option if you're looking for someone who's maybe even English to play left back. The only issue you're going to have with these cards are chemistry overall. But again, looks like a fantastic choice of that five-star weak foot, as well as playing right back and left back, as mentioned. And then we move on to our last one here, who is four-star, four-star right foot. Again, high medium work, which is fantastic for attacking presence. He is in League 2, unfortunately, but he can play right back if you need him to, right wing, right mid, or even right wing back. So going back to that 4-3 or 3-4-1-2 formation or the 5-4-1 the formation, really, really good option. 96 acceleration for someone that's 5 foot 11 with 93 sprint speed, 81 agility, 88 agility, sorry, 91 balance. Again, just a really good card overall. He doesn't have the best trait, so again, he's haven't got the best trait. Long throw in, solid player. But if you want to play him at right back, you definitely can. Four star four is going to get out a lot of situations. Bit low on the uh, strength and aggression to play that position, in my opinion, especially with the uh, high defensive and stand tackle, slide tackle. But as a right mid going into right wing, he's going to give you a lot of options, especially if we get some objectives that need to have score with an English player or score with the EFL players. He's going to be really, really good. But I think for me personally, I'm going to take Scott. I think that this uh, Alex Scott just looks ridiculous. Looks too good to turn down, in my opinion. Especially being in the championship as well with the Chong that's just come out. It's got a nice link there, as well as some of the other cards that come out. But let me know in the comment section who you're going to be taking yourself. If you were to have a look at some of these cards on Footbin, I do think Footbin doesn't have them yet, but we'll have a quick look and just see if we can find them. But let me know in the comment section down below who you're going to be taking, because I'm interested to see who you boys are taking. I think for me, Scott is the one to go for. As you can see here, yeah, he's not in the game yet just yet. It's a shame. So we won't know about chem styles or anything until a bit later after the video comes out. But let me just go to new players quickly to see if they've added them in. They haven't. They've only got the new, the EFL one. So that's a shame. So they're not actually on Footbin just yet. Let me just see if I can get his silver up just to compare him ever so quickly. We go to Alex Scott here. You can see 67 rated. He is explosive, apparently, of his silver card. So we'll have to see what his tots is. But overall, I think this is the card that I'm going to go for. Like I say, let me know in the comment section who you're going to go for. And if this video has helped you out, smash that like button and subscribe. And look at that dynamic as well as it changes. Fantastic. Again, if you have any questions or anything like that, you're not sure who to take, 
Really wait till Footbin adds them and then compare them and that. Have a think who goes into your team and think about objectives for the future as well. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.